Welcome back. So Palantir, PLTR, 11%. Pretty strong day today after basically before reporting earnings. It was testing this 200-day moving average with overall market flushing down. Very nice reversal. And at the same time, pretty good earnings. And we are sitting at the resistance levels of this 29.30 range at the moment. Today, pretty big range, 11%. Typically, average true range for the stock is at least for last 15 trading sessions, $1.76 today. It's moving almost like three bucks. Pretty big move. Uh, what I'm watching from here for the name. So you can see along with 200 day moving average, this is the support trend line we have. At the moment, stock is in an uptrend. Year to date, positive uh, around 72% up year to date. Very big gain. Uh, even though it is, I mean, it has been very choppy and most of the moves tend to come in this stock after earnings moves, okay? So after earnings uh, report, it tends to move rapidly like it does with volume and then it tends to just um, chop around. So is this going to be the same thing? We shall see. But this is the weekly chart of Palantir. So you can see after going public at $10, the all-time high print, 45 and this $29 level, this was the resistance throughout 2021. And this is the second time probably you are try trying to test and maybe get and build above this level um, since then. And uh, last time it was actually three weeks ago, uh, very recently, were uh, after pulling back, testing this level, rejecting, and now we're testing this level. Are we gonna build above this 30 bucks level? So if that's the case, I would want this name to go slightly higher and maybe consolidate before trying to push possibly from here towards $40 level. That's of course a very big move, maybe 30% move for the stock that is valued at $65 billion level. I mean, market capitalization, that's a big move. And this stock doesn't move fast generally, but there are a lot of call buyers coming in and they have been buying up this uh, basically momentum. You don't know which people are um, have an intention of staying it in the longer run, but we can take a look at the strikes today so far. You can see top top four, the most traded option volume um, in stock market so far, and we still have a lot of time left uh, until market close. 70% of that almost 500,000 contracts that are being traded so far, 70% call volume, 30% put volume. And also I have uh, total option activities for all expirations for the stock. And again, I think this is before today's open, 1.6 million open interest to the call side, 1.1 million open interest to the put side. So if we just take a look at today's action, there's a lot of people betting on $30 strikes. You can see 391,000 calls being traded, 167,000 puts being traded. And I'm just filtering out by the biggest orders that came in today. And of course, uh, those 30s are not the only ones that I'm seeing that are short term for August. But if we just take a look at here, you can see September 35, December 40 calls, uh, August 34, 31, 32, August 36, October 36 calls right here. And I'm assuming these are the calls because the premiums are outside of the money. And usually when people are very, very bullish, they buy outside of the money calls with lower delta levels. You can see at this uh, section right here, I don't know if you can see it, but from this volume that came in, of course, there's a lot of retail involved, which likes to trade. I mean, I am in there as well. Anything from zero to 40 delta, which, because those contracts are a lot cheaper, but only 5% of the total volume that came in today is, uh, I mean, close to the money or in the money. So most of it outside of the money calls and, well, price is moving higher and you can see most of the, um, I mean, orders that are getting executed are getting executed at the ask or above. I mean, you can see so far from this 400,000 
almost half of these calls being executed at the asking price, which means people are paying up, bidding up. That means people are paying to buy these calls because usually the sellers, they try, they try to, I mean, they tend to sell to the bidder uh, versus when stock is bullish, uh, people tend to um, pay whatever the market maker is asking for it. So 49% of the orders so far executed are, they were executed at the asking price or above. So that means there's a there's clearly option market is bullish on this stock. So I would also, um, well, ultra short term. So yes, the 40 bucks I'm watching is a possible area of uh, target for the name uh, for the rest of the year, I wanna say, but Right here, right now, I would just also draw uh, this resistance line like this, where basically trending resistance, uh, where I would watch, let's just extend this level just to give you a perspective on an ultra short term. As a trader, what I tend to do, uh, I usually watch like um, standard deviations, but I would watch this channel because we have been in this channel. So short term, maybe for the rest of the i mean till the next expiration of the um i mean this 16th of august we have a pretty big option expiration i would watch this trend line where potentially it could go all the way to um 32 dollars and just stall out there but at the same time it needs to stay above these 29 dollar levels because this is a resistance it depends where it closes but the fact that we are above all of these uh, levels where stock basically had a hard time staying above $27. That's a very good sign, and it's happening with decent volume. Volume is increasing. Uh, I'm watching this name possibly to the upside, but at the same time, I'm not long this name. I'm not trading options with this because I think uh, implied volatility a little bit expensive for me to trade this name considering uh, how low uh, Delta it has. And, I mean, it doesn't move pretty big, but these the fact that these it's stock moving like two standard deviation in a day, I mean, that's, that's pretty unusual, but um, it is backed up by the option activity. So watching this name, neutral to bullish, uh, and flow is bullish, but we'll see what happens. But I'm watching this Palantir name to the upside for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe.